shoves. And Conneth calls. It's a jack. Canet closes the deal. Mustafa Canet wins the EPT Dublin 25k high roller. You've won 10k high roller. You've won a 50k high roller. You just won a 25k high roller. Where are you going next? Uh, the 100k. Hello everyone, we are in Monaco for the final table of the 100k Super High Roller as Mustafa Kanet looks to go back to back in big buy-in events. Kanet has made a bold claim. It would be he great won the High Roller in up. Dublin and a win today would see the Italian it make history. It's a tough field and because of that I just don't think he's going to do it. Are you serious? The guy's a beast. You know, I appreciate that, but look at the competition. EPT 11 Player of the Year, Ola Shemian, has said he fears no one. Igor Ruganov has made the final table of the Super High Roller. Here what about this mystery man from Dubai? He has all the chips and people are saying he can really It's play. a final table and you cannot discount anyone at this stage. Hello and welcome to Monaco. I'm James Hartigan, he's Joe Stapleton, and this is the PokerStars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT Grand Final. The season's almost over, but don't worry, my babies, we're going out with all the poker you can eat. Well, our first course is the final table of the biggest buy-in event on the tour. I think it's fair to say that we are serving up a treat. A plate of mm lasagna, a side of Kurgles, and an extra large order of swag. Don't worry, it'll all make sense later. It's the 100K Super High Roller. Each season, the EPT concludes amid the grandeur and opulence of Monaco. This Super High Roller is the most expensive tournament of the season and comes with the greatest rewards. 61 entries created a prize pool just shy of six million. Big names tried their hand, with last year's champ, Eric Seidel, missing out on a chance to repeat. Mike Timex McDonald was the bubble boy, out in ninth, leaving the remaining eight to fight for the title and the 1.775 million euro first prize. Coming into the final as chip leader is a player we've never seen before on the tour. Ali Reza Fatehi is a businessman from Dubai with a fearless approach to the game. I'm not a professional poker player, but I like gambling. In poker, you can do everything by power of your chips. When you have a lot of chips, you can do anything. The other finalists are all EPT stalwarts. Stephen Chidwick first impressed us back in season five with a deep run in Barcelona. Now, he's considered one of the best all-round players on the circuit. Mustafa Kanet has had an insane 12 months crushing higher rollers. He's won a 50K, a 10K, and a 25K just two months ago. High roller champion, Mustafa Kanet. During the interview in Dublin, you asked me about what I'm gonna do next, and I answered I'm gonna win the 100K in Monte Carlo. I feel pretty comfortable. In two years, Ola Shemian went from Railbird to EPT Player of the Year. He's back on the scene after a three-month break with a new look and a positive mental attitude. I feel really good about making the final table. I don't have expectations. For me, the most important thing is that I enjoy every second. Businessman Paul Newey loves a high roller even more than he loves wearing outrageous shirts. He may be an affluent chap, but he's not just playing for poker glory. The money and the title are both important to me, actually. People you know, seem to think perhaps I'm not that bothered about the money, but I am, because, I mean, you know, there's, there's expensive tournaments to buy into. I've got my eye on the money as well, definitely. Ivan Luca is on a tear in 2016. He cashed in the high roller in Dublin and then defeated his girlfriend heads up to win a tournament in Rosvedov. No one feels more at home on this stage than Igor Kurganov. This is the third year in a row he has made the final table of the Super High Roller in Monaco. It does feel a little bit like home turf, and I do like my chances. Feels kind of do. I guess it does for many, but uh, it would be sweet. 
finally, Sam Greenwood. He came close to winning a main event title in Malta this season, but he's going to need an early double up to stay in this game. It's a lineup to put fear in the hearts of even the most accomplished players. It's the final super high roller of the season. So let's get cards in the air. Back inside the most impressive poker room in the world, the Salle des Etoiles. Hello, my babies. And we kick things off with blinds at 25,000, 50,000, and a 5,000 ante. Action on Ivan Luca, who recently found himself playing heads up against his girlfriend. Sick brag, he has a girlfriend. Stephen Chidwick. Passes. Shemian's out. Knew he's not going to play this one. What do we think of Igor's purple jacket? I think he looks like Prince. Ace five in the cutoff. He folds. So that's what it sounds like when doves fold. Ali Reza for Tahi, the chip leader, folds the button round to Sam Greenwood in the small blind. And the table short, he's got kings. Sam made the final table in Malta just a few months ago. Beast. He limps in, giving Canet the opportunity to see a free flop. Well, this hand is so bad, he might feel compelled to raise it. Hashtag raise it. Sure enough, he makes it 125,000. My guess is that these two have a lot of backstory. No re-raise from Greenwood, still playing it slow. The backstory story checks out. The flop is 865. It's a gut shot for Canet. Greenwood, a four to one favorite with Kings. Does he continue with the gut shot? No, he checks behind. Hmm. Canet pairs his deuce on the turn, picking up additional outs. Greenwood, still a four to one favorite. Delayed C-bet. No, once again, it goes check, check. A seven on the river. That's a straight for Canet. Sam wanted to let Mustafa hang himself, but instead he let him get there. Now we should see a bet from Mustafa. This is just so gross. How, how do you make the best hand with nine deuce? 225,000. Not a great board for Kings. I played this hand really stupidly. Even though it's a bad board, Mustafa could easily be bluffing. 225. Uh. So gross. An incredibly reluctant call from Greenwood. That's gonna leave a mark. It's 25 too much though. Now I take 25 back. You put way too much. I miss value. At least 50,000. <laughs> Brutal. A big pair? No. I mean, yeah, whatever, she wouldn't find out, yeah. You don't want us to know you. What? No. This is yours, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there used to be more of them, like a lot more, before I slow played Kings. Uh... Well, the final eight players are all guaranteed at least 236,000 euros. Seven figure scores for the top two, with nearly 1.8 million for the winner. Well, even Luca has just shoved with Jax, and I think he's going to get called. Luca's about to be sleeping with the fishes. There's the call. Luca at risk and dominated. Not that kind of sleeping, Maria. Don't worry. All the GFs are on the rail. That's Mustafa's GF, Anna. Good luck, bro. There's an 81% chance we're going to be down to seven players after this hand. Queen still ahead. Nalin, I lost the uh, eighth place with Jack still. You remember? Ah, yeah, in, uh, in the fish house. Yeah. In the fish house? The turn card is a six. So now... So now you're drawing thin. So now, what are you going to do? No Jack on the river. Good game, Ivan. Good game, Ivan. 
Ivan Luka out in eighth place. He did not break Ivan. He more than doubled his money. <laughs> and Mustafa Kanet has near enough doubled his stack since the start of play. And Maria refuses to sit with a guy wearing pink pants. Story checks out. Seven-handed now. Blinds 30,000, 60,000 with a 10,000 ante. Folded to Canet. He's taking a hand off. Stephen Chidwick has ace-king in the hijack. Guy's so good at poker, multiple countries try to claim him. Is he Australian or British today? Look at the flag, Joe. Look at the flag. And? Fold. It's British. Ali Reza Fatahi, the table boss. There's Jack Nine in the big. And he calls. He's a businessman, born in Tehran, celebrates his 39th birthday next week. Standard raise, standard big blind defend. And an early birthday present, the chip leader flops trips. Standard out flopping, the best hand out of position. Chidwick continues for 100,000. Oh, we're gonna get the old woe is me, I have trips routine. Classic. Cycle from Fatehi. It actually works way more often than I think it would. The turn card is an ace. That's a bad card for Chidwick. He could lose a lot more now. Oh, he's checked behind. Nice check behind. Four on the river. It's now a flushy double-paired board. Well, even rich businessmen know a thing or two about value, like where to get the best deals on private plane cup holders or unicorn horns in bulk. With his full house, Ali Reza bets. Too much. Do you see the way he slammed those chips down? Like a reverse tell kind of deal. Really couldn't blame Stevie if he just snapped here a top pair. But he is a world-class player, so he's at least going to think about it a little bit. And when you do think about it, Stevie's not beating anything, really, except for maybe a small pair turned into a bluff. Maybe ace-queen. That's about it. Taking his time. Somebody's getting a little impatient. Time. He's called the clock on Chidwick. I like seeing more and more people call the clock, but still every time it's awkward. Chidwick folds. Nice son. Thank you. Smart lay down. Good bluff. I don't know how to bluff to the professional. <laughs> really good fold, Stevie. Someone have to teach me. You had the best person to teach you. <laughs> Fatehi got lessons from Steve O'Dwyer last night, so I can't say I disagree with Igor there. If you could have a passionate night full of red wine and poker lessons from one pro, who would it be? Tag your tweets. Hello, my babies. Want to listen to more of my jokes and embarrassing stories without poker getting in the way? Subscribe to EPT Not Live on iTunes or download it from soundcloud.com slash EPT Not Live. There's guests, competitions, online dating. You can even get some behind the scenes gossip on the show you're watching right now. That's right, more layers than an advanced Rubik's Cube, which has two layers. More layers than that. EPT Not Live. We've just lost our second player from the PokerStars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT Grand Final Super High Roller. After slow playing Kings and losing half his stack to Mustafa Kanet, Sam Greenwood's remaining chips were then claimed by Mustafa Kanet. You are in trouble now. I am in trouble. Let's do this. The Italian is now second in chips and looking to claim his fourth high roller trophy on the European Poker Tour. I crush all the buy-ins. <laughs> I never won a main, <laughs> but I can't complain. High rollers are different, like, a 10K in Barcelona or the 25K or the 50K Turbo are all completely different. 
It's like playing the Champions League, so I love it. During the interview in Dublin, you asked me what I'm gonna do next, and I answered I'm gonna win the 100K in Monte Carlo. Every victory gives you more motivation to keep playing, and I really love to win. And I really love to play my best game and stuff like this, so for me, win 100K means really a lot. My least favorite thing about Mustafa Canna is that he's almost single-handedly ruining all my Italians are terrible at poker jokes. Well, Canna is now closing in on the chip lead. Stephen Chidwick under the gun with 6-7 suited. He's raised it to 125,000. Shemian folds. As does Paul Newey. Igor Kurganov with 10 9 of hearts. Look at Igor, about to get cute against an under the gun open. He likes to call 10 9 suited his little red Corvette. Kurgle's hoping that third time's a charm, his third consecutive appearance at the final table of this very tournament. That's a three bet to 285,000. Ace nine for chip leader Ali Reza Fatehi. And folds the best hand. Kanek gives up the big blind. It's back on Stevie. Stevie should probably fold too, but whatever. These guys know what they're doing. I give up. He's calling with his suited connectors. He'll play the flop out of position without the betting lead. And with seven high, don't forget that. Seven hundred and twenty thousand in the middle. And Igor has flopped the nut straight, plus a redraw to a straight flush. Meanwhile, Chidwick has two pair. Oh man, did somebody puke in an ice chest? Because this is a sick cooler. Goes check check on the flop. And that ace on the turn changes nothing. Igor now a nine to one favorite. Chidwick checks a second time. He's either really hoping Igor has an ace or tries to rep this ace. And I doubt Igor is gonna go another street without attempting some value. Yeah, I think a delayed C bet's coming. 235,000. This is such an awful spot for Stevie because once his ace hits, there's so many worse hands he can get paid by. Might see a raise here. All right. Chidwick shoves. Cool. And Kurgles calls all in. Good thing we're not too far from the marina because Steve Chidwick needs a boat. He needs a six or a seven or he'll be left super short stacked. Olivia here to rail Igor. I guess she brought his lucky raspberry beret. No, woman, now you cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Igor doubles up. My nice son. Whenever I double up, I like to party like it's 1999. Kurganov now playing a stack of 3.6 million. He's third on the leaderboard. And as for Steven Chidwick, he's now in the danger zone. Danger zone! He's the shortest stack at this final table. I'm chicken in the eyeball. Not now, Liv. Oh, really? Yeah, we're in the chicken. Always about you. Confirmation that Igor is third in chips behind Mustafa Kanet and Ali Reza Fatehi. Line still 30-60. On a Shemian first to act here. Back on the scene after a short break, and he's got kings. Oh, hell yeah. That's a raise to 125k. Kurganov. There's king-queen. Uh-oh, and he just got those chips too. He must be delirious. He re-raises. It's a three bet to 335,000. Round to Mustafa Kanet in the small blind. Who's got queens? This is the worst thing to happen to a Mustafa since Dr. Evil's malfunctioning trapdoor. 
No way he folds. How much more is he going to lose? It doesn't look like he's counting out a call. It's a cold four bet to 835,000. With Chidwick folding, the action's back on Shemian. He's not folding, and I don't think he's expecting Mustafa to fold either. Hey, I'm glad we're playing with the Kings and Queens only deck. I'm all in. Shemian shoves. Easy fold for Igor. How much is that? A little over two. Mustafa's getting almost three to one. Surprised he hasn't called it off already. Two million fifty-five. Can it giving this careful consideration? Does all this Shemian make anybody else wonder when season four of Vikings is coming back? I think this is just one of those think, think, side calls. Not on this occasion, he folds! Wow. Show us one card, not an ace. Hmm. No ace to show. Can it laid it down? I hope he didn't overplay <laughs> any hand. I was not folding against you. Huh? That was my I problem. know. Against you, I'm happy to play my money uh -huh. in this spot. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I was for value. It's queen. <laughs> Queens. Yes. My value is different than your value. Yeah, it's not ace queen because you call ace queen okay. against him. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope he didn't overplay the ace king, but I don't think so. How did he fold queens there? I'm not a guy who really likes to fold, like, really, but with all my information, I felt like it was a fold. Maybe seems really weak to don't call a three bet or stuff like this when you have good equity, good odds, but it's simple. Keep your stack. It's more important than call the three bet or win a big pot in that moment. You can study poker how much you want, but uh, when you are there in 100K, I feel like take less marginal spot and just play a solid game against really tough players. It's gonna be fun. Now I know why his online handles mmm lasagna. It's the layers. Mmm lasagna. So six handed action continues. Hold it around to Olashemian in the cutoff. You mentioned we haven't seen Olaf for a while. It looks like he went to the mountains for a few months, trained with a Shaolin monk, drank a bunch of rainwater, learned to fight with a stick. Ace two self suit. Raises to 130,000. Chip leader Ali Reza Fatahi is in the big blind. He's got king four of clubs. Well, that side was real. Cool. He defends. <clears throat> Heads up to the flop. Well, it's a flush draw for Fatehi. Nada for Shemian, but he still has the best hand. Ace high. One club would be good for Fatehi, but two would be bad. Ali Reza leads with his draw. 150,000. It's a draw-heavy board. Shemian calls. Little float, lots of runner runners for Ola. And Shemian picks up a wheel draw, but doesn't actually need to improve. Ace high is still the best hand. Another semi bluff from Ali Reza, 230,000. Once again, Shemian calls. All it must be confident he can win this sometimes without hitting his gut shot. Ten of hearts on the river. The board is bricked out for Ali Reza. He's going to fire again. He bluffs at it. 340k. 
There's really only one card all is worried about, and that's a 10. What are the chances? Shemian only has ace high. But he calls! King Kai. And that's gonna look like magic or lucky or both, but it's neither. It's 100% pure, unmitigated, unadulterated swag. And with that pot, Ola Shemian takes the chip lead in this super high roller. Do you think you would be able to bluff the best in the game? You can qualify for an EPT at PokerStars.com. Here at the PokerStars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT Grand Final Super High Roller, Ola Shemian is on the ascent. After a three-month hiatus from the game, victory here will be the biggest of his career. One player who won't be claiming the title, though, is Brit Stephen Chidwick. He's just been eliminated in sixth place, cashing for 378k. Stevie444 should be headed for the door, 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 but look, they're letting him deal. Lines are up to 50,000, 100,000 with a 10k ante. And on this hand, we are going to sweat with Mustafa. We will only see can it toll cards. You can it stop a Mustafa. He's first to speak. He's under the gun. With Jack Eight of Clubs. That's a raise to 210,000. No action from Shemian or Nui. Kurganov folds the small. Easy peasy. It's Ali Reza for Tahi's big blind. We know he likes to defend fairly liberally. We haven't seen a three betting range yet. Call. Cool. He's defending again. Fairly confident he wouldn't be playing anything super slow. Well, the flop gives Canet a flush draw, plus a backdoor straight draw, and he has two overs to the board. Pretty great flop for us. You can bet your sweet mustachioni we're going to bet it. 250,000. Raise. Check raise alert. 600,000. First of all, our draw is too good to fold. Second of all, when a guy announces raise like that, like he's kind of annoyed by you, he's almost never got it. It's like his voice is trying to overcompensate for the strength of his hand. We could re-raise, but I like just calling, because if we hit our card and he's bluffing, he could keep bluffing. Can it calls in position. The turn card is the king of clubs. Can it now has a flush. Got it. 500. For Tehi bets again. Now we have to just call. And now that I think about it, one of the bluffs for Tehi could have had on the flop is an ace high flush draw. And that's a pretty small bet relative to the size of the pot. If he shoves river, I don't know, but for now we're gonna call. I assume. Yes. So 2.7 million in the middle. Can it the effective stack with 1.42 million behind? The river is a three, pairing the board. Holy. And for Tay, he quickly shoves. That was so fast. I know he doesn't have a full house, but I'm not convinced he doesn't have a bigger flush. He seemed a little aggro with that all in too. And I don't know if it's because he doesn't have it or because he's annoyed the board paired. Oh my God. Another big decision for Mustafa. I don't think I can fold. Given the hands we've seen Ali Reza defend with in the big blind, I don't think so either. Can it looking at the pay jumps? He calls all in! Let's see it. Queen high. Fatehi bluffing with Queen Jack! Great call us! Yes! Can it doubles up? Nice hand anyway. Good stuff. And the Italian takes the chip lead! You never get check raise and boom, boom. I'm a tight man. Not what I heard. You're what? 
tight man. You know who's not tight? The crazy businessman from Tehran. He started this final table as chip leader. He's now the short stack. At least he's guaranteed his first live score today. At least 485,000 euros. What's with these shadowy figures? What is this, Spectre? Where's Christoph Waltz? Joe, we will never mention that film ever again. <laughs> okay, I agree with you on that one. Pocket eights for Paul Newey. He's been very quiet at this final table. Newey's my favorite of all Scrooge McDuck's nephews. Let's raise it up to 200,000. Where do you think Paul got all that money from? Thomas Shemian's big blind. Queen six of clubs. He calls. To the flop. Which brings drama. A set for Newey. Shemian has a flush draw and he's double gutted. See at the river. They are pretty shallow, so it's usually going to go in on the flop. Shemian has checked. Newey set to continue. Always bet your sets, especially on a board wetter than the sinks in an airport bathroom. What are people doing in there? I don't like to think about it. 285,000. Ola can't fold these draws, and he's probably not going to just call for a huge chunk of his stack. All in. Call. Shoving a call. Newey at risk, but ahead. A six to four favorite. Not a massive favorite. Up to you, Honor. Hmm? More flop. Hashtag understatement. You're the you favorite. Do. Statistically, no. Swagtistically, yes. I think you're the favorite. Not now. Shemian makes his flush. Three. Newey needs the board to pair. Seven. Seven from heaven. It's a king, he's out. You got me covered, haven't you? I don't know. I have 2.5 here, I think. Exactly. Newey out in fifth. Yep, we're going, guys. Unlucky, Paul. What a flop. Cheers. Mustafa. Cheers. Cheers. Poor Paul Newey. Not literally, he's still rich AF. I'm gonna take your revenge. With that hand, Allah has retaken the chip lead. Welcome back to poker, Mr. Shemian. Past couple months, I just took it easy, taking breaks from like everything, We're going to Australia, New Zealand. I've been traveling a lot with Martin Finger. The German community is quite big as well, and yeah, everybody's friendly with each other, and it's cool. I don't really know about my future too much. Like I don't plan too far. I just see what I want to do when it comes. I think I play poker forever, but uh, there's definitely other things in life I want to achieve. Would be nice to win for sure, but in the end it doesn't change anything. I'm just having fun in life. So winning this one would also be nice. Yeah. A reading from the Book of Swag. So Shemian's got the biggest stack with four players remaining, but Mustafa Kanet isn't far behind. Action on Canet, ace queen of diamonds on the button. Looking to win his fourth high roller tournament in 12 months. He raises to 210,000. Action on Igor Kurganov, queen 10 of hearts. Igor could just call, but if he thinks Canet's raising super wide, which he has been. Hold on. Call. He makes his move and gets snapped by Canet. Looks like Igor is about to give a TED talk. Dominate, TED. <sighs> 30% chance of survival. Time to get lucky. No, it's not time to get lucky. <laughs> no. Well, if you sing it for me, it might be. Don't do it. Let's see. We can't afford it. <laughs> How'd we fade that? Igor needs a 10 or a bunch of hearts. Good first card. Afterwards, uh... I mean, you have backdoor straight too. It's okay. Not that bad. Backdoor flush too. 
You want more than this, bro. <laughs> After the nine of hearts, I want a bit more. I saw that first. To the turn. Ooh, straight draw. 400, 500. I take the rest. I can take back. Yeah, and take the. I take the rest. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone agree? Yes. Agree. Yes. Okay. No. No. Stop. 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 <laughs> Everyone is agree. <laughs> Everyone. Igor needs an eight, ten, or king. The river is Go. a five. No. He's out in fourth place. Bro, you played really good. I played better. <laughs> oh, good luck. Thank you. Good. I love you, bro. They hug while my guitar gently weeps. Good luck. Can it on course to win this tournament as per his prediction? Tight is right. <laughs> I always told you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kurganov secures his third big score in this super high roller in three years. What He's I told you yesterday. I Tight remember, right. yeah. You listen to me. Yeah, yeah. You listen yeah. to me. <laughs> and I, now you're I mean, here. do something. You're 25, he's 23. I'm the old man. Respect something to me. I respect. Thank you. Old man. Three remain in the 100K event at the PokerStars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT Grand Final. There's a man who's made his mark in the business world and two high roller veterans, one of whom predicted he'd win this tournament three months ago. Will Mustafa Kanit's prophecy be fulfilled? That would be pretty awesome, like Babe Ruth calling a shot. You guys know Babe Ruth in Europe? Loved picking the city. <laughs> oh, man. How much you have, bro? You know? Seven, I guess. Kanit is the current ship leader. Shemian. With ace 10 on the button, raises. 240. Ali Reza Fatehi. Has pocket fives in the small blind. Very reasonable spot for a shove. All is going to be opening wide. Ali Reza is out of position and he's very likely to hate most flops. All in. He shoves. Yes. Can it folds? Action back on Shemian. Now, this is a big shove, 33 big blinds. Which means this is not a snap call. Ola agrees. Surely it's not a call at all with ace 10 off. Peekaboo, who's hiding over there? Who is that? Shemian's really thinking about this, isn't he? Yes. Wow, I am really surprised by that call. I don't think he makes the same call against anyone else. Good luck. Good luck to you. Good luck, guys. Well, it's a flip. For Tehi, the player at risk. Ola must think he's going to have a lot of bad aces and Broadway hands. Ola against uh, Ali Reza. Yeah. Not now, Igor. Let's blow the whistle and start this race. Great start for Shemi, and he pairs his 10 on the flop. That is a bummer for two fives, though. Ali Reza left with two outs. Oh, no, Igor's on the beers. The turn card. The five. No, the three. Put the five here, please. Right there. Yeah, exactly right there. there. <laughs> he can do it. One time he do it for me. Go, boom. He teach me this. <laughs> he teach me this like four years ago. In a 25k. Swag actually sometimes stands for stolen without a gun, oddly. The river is an ace. Thank you. Good game. Good luck. Good. Ali. Thank you, bro. Really nice to meet you. Good luck. Good luck. Love seeing a good deep run by an amateur. Anyone can do it. Leaving us with the two high roller vets. Pocket five against well eight stain. Well done. You thank you, thank you. Great fun having this guy at the final table, and hopefully we see him again on the EPT. Thank you very much. Ali Reza Fatehi cashes for nearly 830,000 euros. Meanwhile, Shemian has the chip advantage over Kanet as they play for the title.
Two of the game's brightest young stars are now heads up. And Mustafa is on the brink of making good on his promise. For me, win 100k in three levels. Mustafa is a good player. I respect this game a lot. When he plays his A game, he's like one of the best. I try to win and I think I win. <laughs> I really love to win. I want to win this one. Well, the two players have agreed a deal. They've taken roughly 1.5 million each. They're playing for an additional 50K and the trophy. That's 50,000 euros and one gigantic piece of swag. Blind 6120. Shemian limps in from the button with ace five. Canet does not check his option. He raises with the 10 seven. And Shemian calls the raise in position. Let's play a bigger pot. Well, that's a nothing flop. Shemian's still ahead with ace high. Canet continues to show aggression. That's 350,000. I don't think we're going to see Ola call a three bet with ace high too often and then fold the flop right away. He calls. The turn card is a four. Well, both players now have straight draws. Shemian's open ended. Canet has a gut shot. He needs a five. All the more reason neither of these guys is likely to fold. And it continuing to demonstrate strength. 875,000. Once again, Shemian calls. The river card is a three pairing the board. So ace high was the best hand before the flop and it's still the best hand after the river. Major brickage on the river. I think a bet here gets snapped off by Ola. I think Canet's going to give it a go. He's not waving the white flag of surrender. Fires out a bluff of 1.95 million. It's actually a pretty great run out to call with Ace High, just like he did with Fatehi earlier. White flag, more like white swag. Feel like I'm really getting to know Anna here. Sorry. Shemian thinking this through. He heroes! You win. Six, right? Not even. Oh. Really big chip lead for Shemian now. His bad card was an ace. His good card, swag. Nice hand. I wonder if Ola's is going to quit his day job of being a Dothraki call. Well, we know fourth place finisher Igor Kurganov is watching the action from the rail. What's his prediction? Okay, now, Igor. Uh, I think that... Musta has won quite a lot recently, so he's always likely to win. Um, then again, Ole was on a break, so I'm definitely favoring Ole to win, even though I, Musta is great. Um, but I also like the pain it will bring on him to just get second, because he announced he's going to get first in the super high roll here, and he's going to get second. I mean, they're each getting better than second place money, so it's kind of like they both won already. 8-9 for Shemian. He completes. This time, Canet checks his option in the big blind. The flop gives Canet bottom pair. Second pair for Shemian. Tough to make a pair. With the action checked to him, Shemian bets 125,000. Wouldn't expect Canet to fold his pair. He calls. Turn card is a queen, so can it improves to two pair and is now the commanding favorite in this hand. Oh, Mustafa. It goes check, check. The river is a king pairing the board. Man, this is a perfect run out for all to pay off a river bet. How much will can it make it? 380. Called. Showdown. 
Queen. Arlo's gonna be ahead or chopping there a huge percentage of the time. It's pretty hard for him to lose that hand, but he did somehow. Can I see? Queen three. Queen spades. Clubs, clubs. Three clubs. I don't know why the suit matters, but I guess it explains why we're all so bad at poker. So can it get some back from Shemian? Nice hand. Thanks. Still playing for 50k, the EPT trophy, and my guess is that Mustafa would really like that whole calling a shot thing to come true. Yeah, but he's still got an uphill struggle. Shemian is the monster chip leader as the blinds go to 80,000, And Shemian picks up queens. He raises to 350,000. Feel gruesome railing the action now. <laughs> Can it's got sevens? This could be the cooler we were waiting for. Call in. Call. Here we go, all in, and a call, and Shemian is a four to one favorite to win. Mustafa's prediction not looking so hot right now. Good luck, bro. I always make quotes with sevens. <laughs> lucky number, huh? Lucky, lucky. A wise man once said, it is always coming seven. <laughs> a set for Shemian. I have a sweat. For now. Seven for spade. It's okay. <laughs> the turn card. Mm -mm. It's a spade. Mm -mm -mm. The sweat just uh -uh. got sweatier. Can it picks up eight outs? All the spades, bar the deuce, any other card. Shemian is the champ. What a life these guys have. It's gonna be eight of spades. Not so big, not so. It's small. okay. Or queen. You can finish it with queen. Quote queens. That would be nice, huh? The river. Not a spade. Oh, it's black. It's a seven. Too little, too late. Waste of a set. Can it denied the title? So close, yet so far. It's Alas Shemian after an extended absence from the poker circuit who ships the 100K here in Monaco. Remember, they cut a deal, so Mustafa Kanet still made nearly 1.5 million. For Shemian, a score of nearly 1.6 million and the all important trophy. Alas Shemian. So much swag. Mustafa Kanet, he called his shot, said he was gonna win this event. You denied him that. Does that make this any sweeter? Yeah, sure. It's very sweet to win against uh, Mustafa, very good friend of mine. And yeah, it's an honor to beat him in heads up for sure. Let's give it up for the super high roller champion, Ola Shemian.